Man, so I've been working at Amazon for the last past few months, five months. And I just came to realize, to realize that, like, bro, if you work full-time, if you work full-time four days a week and you're getting paid $16, $15 per hour, you can make a good of 600 a week, right? But if you transfer to be a part-timer and if you warehouse have a lot of overtime and if you pick one of those overtime, you're getting paid double than what you're getting paid. So if if your warehouse is paying fifteen dollars per hour and your your full time associates and if you switch over to part timer and you only work Saturday and Sunday, if you come in any days because on Saturday and Sunday they they manage somehow they manage to pay you more because no nobody wanna work on Saturday and Sunday even during a day, day shift or night shift. So therefore, they'll pay you nineteen dollars per hour or twenty to work night shift or day shift at Amazon. So if you work the Saturday and Sunday night shift at Amazon, and you somehow your warehouse have a lot of overtime, if you come in overtime, they're literally paying you nineteen dollars per hour, double since you're coming in for overtime. So basically, if you work three days, since you're working two days, if you work three days, you're gonna make five hundred just for working for three days they don't have they don't have to be uh the the the, the extra day they, it doesn't have to be full uh full shift 10 hour shift nope it can be five hour, sh five hour shift four hour shift and etc like man people are literally coming to amazon and work their ass off for full time not knowing if you work at amazon for the last few years try to switch to overtime Try to switch part time, because if you switch to part time, they will pay you more. Especially if you work overtime. Of if you if you are a part timer, and you work over your part timer Saturday and Sunday, and you come in for overtime in any days, they will pay you double than what you what your pay rates currently is. Talk to your HR about it. I'm telling you guys, like man, wake up instead of coming in. Oh, I'm gonna get this money full time, full time for years, years. No switch to part-time and tell me what about it don't switch to flex or no swing shift no flex rt no go straight to part-time and then start coming in choose you only have to choose part-time for two days saturday and sunday not other days not tuesday no wednesday because they pay you more to work on weekends so therefore saturday and sunday is your choice you have no choice work in the morning work at nights they will pay you $19 per hour to work in the morning and $20 per hour to work at night on weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday morning, 19 and night, 20. So if you come, uh, if you work in a day shift, a night, uh, day shift, Saturday and Sunday over the weekend, they'll pay you $19 per hour, right? And if you come in for overtime, they'll pay you $19 per hour, double that because you come in for overtime. So therefore, you're making more than what currently associates your normal associates are making like man wake up it's literally don't you don't have to come in full time three months three years four years whole years no try to switch for over a uh, part time and tell me about it make sure you guys comment below because i just realized that this and i'm literally i went from this right here to this within three three months and I'm still thinking, man, why not people switching to part time and then do overtime? Because you're getting paid double if you come in overtime since you're a part timer, and you're only working Saturday and Sunday. Like, if you guys ever want to try this out, try this out for one month, and you can switch back to a full time. And let me know how much money you guys make, because I went from this to this. It's big experience, and it's bigger picture opening up to me within one week.